In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this. This is my dad's Dell Studio XPS 8100 from 2011, or 10, that sort of time. Now, my dad's owned this machine from new, and besides from a graphics card change, um, this system has never been touched. Um, the only reason I did perform that graphics card upgrade was to save my dad from the noise that came out of his HD 5770 and obviously this was the one that was used in the video and it came directly out of that machine hence why it has this long Dell exclusive mount but today our task is going to be upgrading the RAM on this system because it's got the stock 8 gigabytes, which obviously back in 2011 was, you know, excellent, you could do all your tasks with that, but with my dad um, doing more intensive things on this, like AutoCAD drawing and just in general graphic design, he's going to need a bit of an upgrade. Um, if I was honest here, I wish I could just upgrade the whole system. It's still running a first gen i7, which uh, it's debatable whether it's still good in 2019, but to cut it long story short, it's very slow. Um, it's still running the stock 1TB 7200 RPM drive, which I wish I could upgrade, but since my dad likes using everything on the one disc, 1TB uh, SSDs are just not an option because of how expensive they are at the moment. But yeah, so our first task today is going to be to crack this thing open and see what's inside. <laughs> so to get inside the machine all you need to do is unscrew this one, um, oh I thought it was going to be a thumb screw but it's done up very tightly. Now before I even open this system up I don't know how well it will come across on camera but you may be able to see like the dust coming off of this thing because it's just never been cleaned. Uh, except from one time in 2017 when I decided to do that, um, but it didn't take long to fill this system up again. So here we go. We're going to open this thing up in three, two, one. Oh, oh. And there we go. Obviously, if it was the original dust um, from back in 2011, I'm sure you'd be filled here, everything would just be caked up. Um, you can already see like the processor is pretty clogged up with dust in there, but as much as I do want to clean that, uh, it'd be a messy job. And I can save that for another day. Now that I'm aware of it, I will deal with it at some point. Uh, so the manufacturer date on here is October 2010, so there you go. Up here we've got a wonderful 300 watts. Wow. That's... that can't be right. 350 watts. Incredibly small, especially for having a HD5770 in there. Um, so yeah, obviously you may be wondering what graphics card is in there now since there's no HD5770. It is actually my R7260X which featured in a lot of videos as a project card and a general testing card and was actually, yeah, my benchmarking card for a long time until people told me to stop benchmarking with an R7260X. But yeah, obviously up here you can see your um, one terabyte drive. Uh, we've interestingly got two optical drives. I know one of them is a Blu-ray drive, I don't know whether both of them are. Um, that might just be the one of them, but you know, back in 2010 this was uh, mandatory to have at least one optical drive and you were very special if you got two so yeah <laughs> uh, obviously our main focus point is back in this cable mess which is where the ram is situated so i'll get you guys closer and we'll get all that old ram out so now that i've got a softbox light that side of me and the camera in the way this is going to be fun to get to but um without disconnecting any of the cables we're just going to pop all this RAM out. So I'll just undo the latches here. There you go. So we'll just pop all this out. So there you go, there's our first uh, 
two gigabyte stick there of Samsung RAM. Now it's just the job of getting the other three out. There you go. It's all out. We've got our eight stick or oh, eight gigabyte sticks of RAM. Um, now this RAM that I'm going to be installing may look a bit familiar to you, and I haven't bothered to remove the good old flashy vinyl wrap off it yet which I am going to do just because it's going in a system and I won't be able to keep an eye on it and I don't want any bad things like overheating to happen um, so yeah this is the RAM from my um, PC build that I did do a video on recently um, but yeah now that that's out I do actually have different HyperX sticks in my build uh, so I don't have a use for these and that's what's going to be going in here. So this is 8 gigabytes on its own. And then I've got these two low profile Kingston sticks which give us another 8. So we're going to have a total of 16 gigs of RAM going in this system. So I'm now just going to do the job of removing the vinyl wrap that I worked so very hard on. Um, I think it's going to leave a bit of residue due to the uh, wrap I used. <laughs> um, as long as it doesn't rip any components off. As I say, this this um, vinyl wrap was only meant to be a temporary measure until I actually invested in RAM, and then I invested in RAM, and then I realised the system couldn't actually run Premiere very well. So now I'm just waiting to buy a new CPU for the system, and that update will come soon. Uh, I'm talking about my main rig. If you guys haven't seen that, I'd recommend checking it out. Because it's quite a interesting story behind it. <laughs> um, so there you go, one D vinyled stick. Now we've got this other one. Interestingly, these sticks of RAM actually came out of a small form factor HP pre-built or whatever something that I got a while ago. And interestingly, it originally would have shipped with four gigs, but someone added an extra. 4 gig stick to give it a total 8, so, you know, it was free, I couldn't complain, I got 8 gigs of RAM for free, and that's an epic win. Yeah, there we go, we got all all this removed, um, 1D vinyl stick once again, and now we've got the fun job of putting it all in and hoping I haven't broken anything. Uh, normally I don't actually get this nervous when working on systems, especially when they're my own, but as this is my dad's system and he specifically told me not to break anything, there's always that pressure that I'm going to break something, um, even with my experience with computers. Um, so, yeah, now we just install the sticks. Um, I am going to install them, obviously, in the different slots that you need to go in so I'll there's there's black and white and I'm gonna associate these ones with black and the smaller sticks with white so um oh it goes in that way I love this this is actually I might just stick this in the end slot so it's not harder to get to that would make more sense okay we've got one stick in now comes one of the low profile sticks and I've just realised that this is completely the wrong stick, as you can see. This one has a purple label on it, and I identify this as a random 2 gig stick, and th these green label ones are the actual 4 gig sticks. So I'm just going to be right back and grab the other one of these. Um, yeah, that's fun. Okay, now that I've actually got the right stick, we can continue installing. So I did put the other small stick in off camera, just... The label has just come off the RAM. Oh well, we won't need that. It will do without it. And this one stick at the end. Okay, so in theory, um, as long as everything went right, we should now have a total of 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now I'm going to bring the system downstairs, um, test it, make sure everything went well, and I'll get back with you. And I think we can call that one a success.
If you guys would be interested in seeing more of these smaller videos, make sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, this was just something I wanted to put out to see whether you guys enjoyed it and get some feedback. So, once again, I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.